Welcome back to the Scamacci Scoop on Football.com. Continuing on with our 2014 NFL Draft Recap, this segment's for our losers. And our first loser is the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers lost franchise left tackle Jordan Gross to retirement this offseason, but yet they still neglected the position in the draft. They used their first round pick on raw talent wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin, and then went defense on three of the next four. They would go into this season with Byron Bell and Nate Chandler as their tackles who both gentlemen combined went for a negative minus 15 grade according to Pro Football Focus last year. You have a young stud quarterback in Cam Newton, but yet you downgrade the talent around him in just one season. No position is as important to a quarterback as the left tackle. Just ask Ryan Tannehill, who didn't have a left tackle and was sacked 58 times last year. Let's hope Cam's superior athleticism gets him out of the pocket and he doesn't get killed next season. My second loser, the Buffalo Bills. Yes, general manager Doug Whaley traded up and he got his man Sammy Watkins, but for a hefty price. They gave up their 2015 first round pick to move up five spots in what most experts call the very deep wide receiver draft. In my personal opinion, you only trade up for a player when you are already a playoff team and a step from the Super Bowl. The Bills just aren't that. The Atlanta Falcons did that in 2011 when they traded the house for Julio Jones, who had a monster game in the 2012 NFC Championship game and has been a pro bowler ever since. The Saints did the same for Brandon Cooks this year in the first round. Drew Brees, Matt Ryan, E.J. Manuel. Something doesn't fit. Two are Pro Bowl quarterbacks. The other one, the jury's still out on. If Manuel isn't the quarterback the Bills pegged him to be, then is trading up for Watkins the right move? They also took offensive tackle Cyrus Quadjo in the second round, a guy who fell in the draft due to rumors to an arthritic knee and inconsistent play his senior year at Alabama. Sure, the Bills may have had made the biggest splash not named Johnny Manziel, but was it really the right move? Be honest with yourself. From Football.com, I'm Joe Scamacci.